Hi everybody, this is Annie and I am going to show you a journal, junk journal that I made for my mom. She requested pink and brown and so I had this um, old book by Letitia M. Burwell called A Girl's Life in Virginia Before the War and it was in pretty good condition. Um, uh, the inside was not great, but the cover is good. I did add corners um, to protect these corners. Um, I cleaned it up a bit, and I added buttons on the spine. Um, and there is a tassel with... <coughs> excuse me, I am fighting a cold today. There's a tassel with beads and buttons and silk ribbon and a bird um, paper clip and what's up here a little key charm okay so let's go inside outside is mostly brown obviously and then inside we get to the pink so there's a library card that she can fill out and I think I stuck it down so that she can't put anything in the back um, I had this beautiful quilting fabric in my stash for a long time and decided that it would look great in this book, so there it is. Oh. Okay, I need scissors. <laughs> Just some of the, I want some of the uh, uh, little bits and pieces, but not that one. So this is um, one of my favorite papers. Uh, I buy it at Joann's by the sheet, and I just love it. I love birds, and I, I like the pink, anyway, and the green. I love green. Um, this is just a little tag that she can write on, and some raffle tickets that I got at uh, a Party America, I think. And this image and the rest of the images that look like this I got on Pinterest. These are, this is just a 3 by 5 card that I punched a hole in. This is um, scrapbook paper that wraps around both sides of this page. This is coffee or tea dyed paper that folds out. This is an old playing card that I just got in Pennsylvania when I was there. And it's, it has nothing on the back side, but it has the queen of hearts on this side. And the whole deck is like that. Nothing on one side, but very um, rustic representations on the other side. This is another of those Pinterest um, images. And another one, They're, they came in different sizes, so they're blank on the back. This is scrapbook paper that wraps around the whole page and a guest check that I just left blank for her to use the lines to fill out. And this, I'll take it off, this um, scrapbook paper is folded kind of like an envelope and then wrapped around the page. So, this one like that. Actually, I think it was like this. So that you can see the envelope on the other side. Or the envelope flap. And this goes here. And this is also scrapbook paper that's folded and wrapped around the page at the top. This is more scrapbook paper cut in the shape of a tag. And uh, under an uh, envelope, and this is, I think, Tim Holtz ephemera. It's um, that cardstock. And Mom and I both love birds, so there's another bird and some music paper, and the um, envelope folds out, and I just put a scrap, uh, an offcut from this book of uh, scrapbook paper that she can journal on and hide away. More tea dyed paper, scrapbook paper. And this is, I don't know where I saw this, but I love these little pockets 
they're they're cute like that and then you can put one let's see I better do it from the back two uh -huh. three four papers in I just think that's so cute more dyed paper, another off cut. And a little tag here that I stapled this bird card to. This is a kind of an envelope that I put page papers in for her to journal on. Just um, folded pages, papers. And, but it's not quite, uh, it starts out not quite 12 by 12. I think, I can't remember if I cut it down to 8 by 8 or 9 by 9. And I thought about closing it to make just a pocket that way or this way. But I put these antique buttons on the um, string that I used, or the thread that I used to bind the signatures. And I, I decided that it's pretty this way, so I left it open. So both sides have paper. And this is a 4x6 card. It is um, graph paper. And this um, paper clip has a little bead charm on it. I did just a little bit of stamping in some of the corners. I didn't want to decorate it too much. This bright pink card is also a 4x6 index card. And this is another of those Pinterest images. I think that's right. So it's a lot of pinks, some uh, browns another scrapbook page folded all the way around the uh, page another of those images botanical images we both love botanicals and birds and then on these um, pages that fold out I made this extra card which is mm, some kind of like I don't know a cereal box or something or the back of a piece of, uh, back page of a um, uh, pad of paper maybe. And then I put paper over it on both sides, a little collage on this side. But it's specifically for these pages that are hard to write on so that there's something, you know, you can, I find this valuable in my journals, put it like this so that it extends underneath most of it. And then you have this surface that you can write on. So I just included that and I put it between the signatures. So I'll continue here. Nests and eggs. I think Tim Holtz. So more of those. And a little tag. And folded uh, scrapbook paper. And a little bird in the corner. So this is where that um, writing thing goes. And then another tag. Oh, put that side up. Another three by five card. I'm still in frame. And another one of those pockets with one, two, three, four, five pieces of paper in it. Yeah, I just I love those. They're so. Cute. More stamping. Coffee or tea dyed paper. Another 4x6 card with a ribbon on it. This is um, a silk ribbon. Seam binding, sorry, seam binding. Which means I think that it's rayon, not silk.
Pull this folds out. And then here's the center of the second signature, and there are two signatures. And this also has um, paper to write on and the same treatment with the antique buttons and waxed linen thread. And then more journaling space inside. And this is also scrapbook paper, just folded like a bird. And then a four by six graph card. And then these two are separate items and this wraps all the way around. Don't you love that? This is a brown envelope that I collaged on and it flips out. And then there are, there's a sheet of scrapbook paper in it. And then the uh, envelope flap is a tuck spot with, uh, this is a little bit heavier uh, scrapbook paper. And this is more scrapbook paper folded and wrapped around the page. And another uh, image from Pinterest. An image from Pinterest. Oh, here's another one of those cards. The blank, the back is blank, and the front is the seven of uh, spades. I got, them. I got those cards when I was in Gettysburg. Oops. Another fold-out page. I think these were eight and a half by fourteen. And then we're getting to the end. So another one of those images. And more scrapbook paper folded for journaling. Tucked behind these beautiful robins, I think. And daisies. And one more image. And the last uh, scrapbook page and more of that fabric. And it didn't quite go to the end, so I put this lace here and it's secured with a um i don't know what those are called a little knobby thing and a hair tie so that's it thanks for joining me today bye